Okay, y'all. It is February 10th. It is so late. We were literally about to go to bed. We had just went to Target and I had bought something and I want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so, I'm pregnant. <gasps> I'm like, actually, whew. I literally, when I took the first one, I freaked out. I started crying instantly and I freaked out and now I'm just happy. I don't think that it's set in yet, that it's real. Um, yeah, we will see how this goes. I'm assuming I'm just like a month, like four weeks, but I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, good morning. It's Monday morning. I just went to sick call. If y'all don't know, if you're in the military and you find out that you're pregnant, you have to go to sick call to get it confirmed because at home pregnancy tests are not enough. They need to confirm it at the office. So I did that. I'm waiting for my lab results. Um, they said they'll call me. If they're positive, they're going to submit me a pregnancy profile and prescribe me prenatal vitamins. I'm actually very nauseous today. I've been saying, oh, I'm, I don't have like morning sickness to my husband. And then today I have morning sickness. So that's what I get for talking about not having it. Um, but I'm very, very, very nauseous. I have not thrown up yet and I do not want to. So I'm pregnant. Right, I am at the OBGYN clinic. I just did my glucose drink. It really was not that bad for me personally. I know everyone has a different experience. Mine didn't have any flavor. Like I know there's flavors, but ours doesn't have any flavor. It's literally just no flavor, which probably would made it easier for me and it didn't smell like anything so I didn't have any trouble with that so I did that and now I'm waiting my hour but I'm collecting my urine like um I just did my dirty catch and then I went to go turn it in but I realized they only gave me one bag and I don't really want to have to like wait on someone for another bag and stuff so I'm just gonna sit in here and drink water and then hopefully I can get the clean catch but yeah so I have to wait my hour. I brought my headphones, so I'm about to go sit in the lobby and just watch YouTube videos or something, but that is like how I'm doing. I don't have my first in-person appointment until next Thursday. Um, I'm getting my first ultrasound and my first in-person appointment and I'll be 10 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so it's been a little nerve wracking waiting for that, but um, hey, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. But hopefully, you know, I'll get to see my baby and everything will be perfect and everything. So, yeah. About to go ahead and try to drink some water. Get this clean catch urine. And then wait out my hour and get my lap strong. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me a blue skies are bright. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take. So today I am in my maternity uniform for the very first time. I'm 15 weeks today. I probably could have stretched it to like another week or two. My pants definitely weren't fitting me. They were not going to fit. Um, my top, my like original OCP top probably would have fit me. But the thing is, is I would much rather wear this maternity top, even though it's a little big. I put on like the tightest little adjustable that you could, but it's still a little big. However, I would much rather people know that I look this way because I'm pregnant versus thinking I'm just big and I just gained weight. So I would much rather just wear the maternity uniform and just let it be big for a couple weeks and whatever. But anyways, I'm wearing it today because I had to come to my unit. They wanted me to go to retention. Um, I'm like in my window and I literally haven't talked to anyone or made a decision yet. I kind of know what I want to do. I'm like really thinking about getting out. Um, if anything, I'm really just thinking about maybe extending for a year, but you still have to go talk to retention. I tried to go. 
the guy was not there so i'm just gonna send him an email i don't know how long he's gonna be out of office and i'm supposed to be getting a comp date tomorrow we'll talk about that in a second so i'm gonna send the nco an email and then we'll go from there because i got a baby appointment today and i got a comp day tomorrow and i am i am taking my comp day so basically i'm getting a comp day oh anyways but about the maternity uniform i look cute like it's actually so cute and i took a cute little picture of me holding my little baby bump and i'll put it like in the little thumbnail but it's so cute like i don't know it's just cute being pregnant i literally can't wait until i have like a huge belly like i just think it's gonna be so cute but anyways i'm gonna get comp day tomorrow which is friday so basically the whole week is like gone but sunday i ended up pulling duty i pulled 24 hour duty for this person who couldn't pull their duty they're actually tdy um at the moment at like a class and they weren't available to pull their duty and i guess no one else could do it or wanted to volunteer volunteered only reason i did is because they offered me obviously the comp day on monday so i was off monday they offered me another comp day this week so i'm taking that friday and then they offered me two four days so I got two random four days to take. I'll probably put those in next week before my NCO goes to a class to make sure I go ahead and get those in. But yeah, I it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. 24 hour duty while you're pregnant is extremely hard. Um, you can have a lot of caffeine. So I was really just struggling. I ate a lot of candy to try to keep myself awake and just, you know, like sour candy and stuff. And I brought a lot of stuff to be entertained. The hardest part though was I couldn't get comfortable because the chairs were just uncomfortable. And you know when you're pregnant, especially once you hit that second trimester, you start to have like, just like pain, like a lot of just pain when you're trying to get comfortable. And it's it's just honestly really hard to get comfortable. And just being in the uniform for so long, it's just like, ugh, like you just wanna let your body just rest and breathe. Yeah, I'm 15 weeks today. Got a baby appointment at 1.30 to go check on baby. I assume I'm not going to get an ultrasound um, since this is like 15 weeks. Um, so I'm not sure. I think they'll probably check the baby's heartbeat somehow and then go over my genetic testing. They already told me um, like that it looked good and everything, but I'm sure they'll just explain to me in person like, you know, what everything means and what to expect in the future. And then we'll probably talk about... I already did a gestational diabetes test when I was very first pregnant. I think it's like a pre-screening. I probably have to do another one coming up, so I'll probably talk about that. And yeah, measure and see how baby's doing. Um, I'm very excited. I do have my anatomy scan already scheduled. It's the very end of next month when I'm exactly 20 weeks, so yeah. Also, life has just been lifing. It's been really hard for me to get on here. Like I said, I pulled 24-hour duty. I've just been pregnant, had pregnancy brain um been really trying to get my dog's attention because they've just been acting out and just being bad i think they know like something's up like they have to know i'm pregnant because they have been so bad and just so out of they haven't been, they've just been a little rambunctious and doing some wild stuff that they don't normally do i'm gonna head back to work probably eat some lunch for now but y'all this uniform is it's a little it's a little big but it's okay i'll grow into it Quick life update. It's been literally forever since I've talked to y'all. This video is all over the place. This video literally spans from February when I found out that I was pregnant to March is when I finally went to go see the doctor and get my labs and stuff. And then um, that video of me in my maternity uniform was literally like a couple weeks ago, I think. But I am finally 17 weeks and one day. So we're getting really close to that 20 week mark. At the very end of this month, I'm gonna have my anatomy scan and get to see how baby looks. I'm so excited, but more to come in the other videos. I have so much stuff planned for the rest of the videos. Um, a man that I work with gave my husband and I some free baby stuff, um, just a couple little things and I'm really thankful for him. So I'm gonna show you guys that in the video. I'm gonna give you guys updates on some baby clothes that I got and I have a baby registry so I might start doing videos of like things that I've gotten in my registry. I don't know if we're gonna have a formal baby shower because we live so far. We live in San Antonio and our families are in Georgia, Illinois, and Michigan. I'm, my family's in Georgia and my husband's is the Midwest so might be a little difficult for us to have a formal baby shower but we will see. 
Um, yeah, so that's going to be in the coming videos. Baby's gender I'm going to release in the coming videos. So very, very, very exciting. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to update you all. Sorry that it's mostly just me coming on here and talking to y'all, but that is all I've had time for. Better videos to come, I, I promise. But I'm going to show you guys my baby bump. I'm finally getting a bump. Like my husband hugged me the other day and he's like, whoa, you have a baby bump. And people at work started pointing it out and I was like, wow, I actually have a cute little bump and it's gonna just grow and get bigger. But let me, let me, oh, I'm already out of breath. I know they said when you're pregnant, you become out of breath, but it is real. I'm, every day I walk into work, I'm like, oh, so out of breath. But anyways, let me show you guys. I'm changed for the, I'm in my office actually at work. But I just changed. I think I'm going to go get a quick little workout in. It's getting a little harder to work out and stuff. I just, it's so hot out there and I just want to go home. But I might go do a quick workout. But here's my little workout fit. Just some biker shorts and a tie t-shirt. But let me go ahead and show y'all. In the shirt, you can see like a belly. Can you see that? And then look. Cute. it's so cute it's getting hard up here oh my god so cute but anyways that is gonna be the end of this video more good videos to come i promise better things lots of baby stuff but i will see you all in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye